Hello and welcome to another video. So I'm just waiting to be unloaded at the moment. I'm lorry driving and um, I just wanted to give you an update really and also announce the Florida trip that should have happened like two years ago or a year ago. I can't remember now, COVID's been a long time. So basically September the 13th, I am flying out to Florida by myself. Um, I've got my two sisters going out the week before me, but they're doing Disney, um, and I'm not doing Disney. I'm just going to do Universal, Halloween Horror Nights, Sea World, Bush Gardens, all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, I'm flying out with Virgin from Heathrow on the 13th of September, and I'm staying by myself for two nights in the Aventura Hotel, Universal's Aventura Hotel. So. It's kind of a budget hotel, it's not the cheapest one they do, but it's reasonably priced and it seems quite nice. So we're gonna give it a go, stay there for two nights, and then I'm meeting up with the sisters or moving in with the sisters and we're gonna be staying at Portofino. Um, so the reason we're staying at Portofino is because if we stay there, because it's a deluxe resort, we get the fast tracks with it. So we get the fast tracks for Universal, which will be very handy because we're going to need it because it's going to be lots of rides that we're going to want to get on and the fast track will really help so obviously the thing that I'm most excited for is obviously it'll be Halloween Horror Nights who isn't excited about that um, but I can't wait to get on Velocicoaster and Hagrid's it's just going to be it's going to be amazing I can't wait I've been waiting so long to get on them and so long to get to Halloween Horror Nights it's it's gonna be insane, it's gonna be so good. So, I'm just flying economy with Virgin at the minute. Um, I'm hoping to get a cheeky upgrade when I get to the airport, but we'll have to see how much it is when we get there. Um, I've looked already and it's like, to go to first class, it's like another 1600 pound. I'm not, I can't, I can't afford that, I'm not doing that. Sorry for the shaking, I'm just being unloaded at the moment. Um, but yeah, hopefully if it's like a couple hundred quid or whatever when I get there at the airport, then yeah, it's probably gonna, gonna be a goer to be honest. It'd be cool to go out there in first class or even premium would be cool. Um, just to give me a bit more room, a bit more, bit more luxury on the way out there to get start the trip off right. So yeah, flying from Heathrow, um, I think it's like 12.45 the flight is, something like that. It's not the one that goes first thing in the morning. I think it's VS135 I think I'm going out on. VS91 is the earlier one. Um, just because I think the second one, the second flight out will be less busy. So I'm less likely to have people sort of sat near me. So I, if, I, if I'm in economy and I've got a whole row to myself, there's no point in upgrading because I'll have a whole, whole row to myself. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Um, also, if there's less people, an upgrade might be cheaper. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens when we get to the airport. Um, yeah, I'm excited, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. It's, it's so, been such a long time coming and yeah, it's gonna be good. There's gonna be plenty of videos. Um, yeah, I might just do loads of little segment videos of like different things. I do, I've got something on my face somewhere, how it's gone. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do like those little segment videos, um, like shorts kind of, but a bit longer maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see. But I'm just going to I'm going to video lots, and I'll put it all on here so you guys can see it all, and it's going to be a fun time. So I just want to do a little update as well because it's been actually two weeks today since I quit my job um, and went out on my own doing sculptures and stuff, and been so busy like ridiculously busy I had so when I first left my job two weeks ago I had 10 solid days of doing like 17 hour days um, just sculpting stuff because I was sort of I had like a backlog of stuff I had to clear so now I've done all that things are a little bit more manageable now that that got a bit much it was like 10 days, 17 hour days every day, like constant, I did not stop. It was intense. It was good, I, I enjoyed it, it was It was good. It's. I'm, I'm still glad that I've quit my job and I've 
give this a go, but it was hard, like really hard work, like crazy hard work. But, you know, I've had the last two days, like today and yesterday, I've been driving um, for the first time. This is just sort of like an infill thing when I've got a, like a few days where I'm not really doing a lot or I've not got any sculpting or anything booked in. Um, I just come and jump in the lorry and a little bit of extra cash keeps me busy. So, yeah, that's the that's the plan. And it's you know lorry driving is something I used to do, and then I stopped doing it because I've become a transport manager. But now I've gone back to just jumping in a lorry for an agency every now and then. Um, yeah, it's good. I, I enjoy it. It's it's fairly relaxing work. It's you know you sort of left to your own devices doing it so you know for me at the moment it's working and it's working quite well so we've also got a we've also got a unit we've sorted well it's, it's a unit basically i'm buying a massive marquee um, a big industrial marquee like storage marquee um and i'm renting a bit of area off a like a farmer that's turned his farm into an industrial site so, which is good, it's, it's, it's good in a way. It's, it's gonna be cheap, overheads are gonna be low, which is good, which is what I need at the minute. Um, but I just hope it's not gonna to be too cold in the winter because I'm not really gonna have any heating and I'm gonna be in a tent outside when it's probably snowing and stuff. So hopefully it's not gonna to be too bad. We'll figure it out. If I need to get a little heater or something in there and it works, then I will do. But yeah, I'm excited, that's gonna take couple of weeks to get here though because it's coming from overseas somewhere um but yeah start of october is supposed to be sort of when i'm when i'm getting it all set up and yeah all systems go from there so i did the little video of the van as well i've got that that's that's been an adventure that has um it had a diesel leak quite a significant diesel leak and i spent quite a lot of money on diesel when i was out in it doing a trip and it started chucking diesel out everywhere so yeah but that's all sorted now so you know the van's good it runs okay it'll do the job i just got to tart it up a little bit add a few touches get some new mats and stuff for it reline the back out because it's all covered in paint and stuff so yeah that's you know things are falling into place nicely and then we've got lots of trips to look forward to we've got obviously florida in september i'm going away to Lanzarote as well in two days so that'll be nice going to the airport tomorrow uh, flying from Birmingham and yeah nice little family trip spend some time with the family and the kids and yeah it's gonna be nice I'm looking forward to it just a week out there escape some of this heat from the UK that we're having at the minute which is it's hot really hot I like the heat but working in it is not is not fun so yeah, that's a little update for my life so far. Um, yeah, so we've got Florida to look forward to. Cannot wait for that. So excited. So excited for that. Um, Land's right here. We've got the unit we're going to be moving into. It's, it's all go. It's all go. All systems go. Everything's going in the right direction. And yeah, we just got to keep the pace going. Keep the work coming in. Keep the pace going. And everything will be all good says but yeah if you made it this far thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one which will probably be a lanzarote one might even be a travel i might even do a travel video for you so yeah thanks for watching see you later guys